Chag Sameach, and Good Yantif. It may surprise you to know that the holiday of Sukkot actually has four names. First, we have Chag Sukkot, the holiday of booths, or huts, which commemorates the huts, or the portable homes, that the children of Israel built and lived in during their time in the desert. Second, Zman Simchatenu, the time of our happiness. That's connected to the agricultural tie of this holiday, which was connected to the fall harvest, which connects to the third name of the holiday, Chag HaAsif, the time of the ingathering, which of course speaks to the ingathering of crops in the fall harvest, which hopefully will be enough to sustain the people through the winter. The final name of the holiday is Hechag, the holiday. The first three names are somewhat understandable, but why the fourth name? Why Hechag? Well, if we look at each of the first three names, we can see that they lead into Sukkot, of all holidays being dubbed Hechag, the holiday. First, we have Chag HaSukkot, the holiday of huts. Sure, we're trying to commemorate what our ancestors did, but by eating in a sukkah, and some people even daring to sleep in a sukkah, we're also reconvening with nature. We're going back to our roots, following the solemnity and seriousness of the high holiday season, Sukkot offers us a time to get very basic, to find what it is within each and every one of us that drives us, that makes us happy, and that will sustain us for the upcoming year. Chag Asif speaks to the ingathering of food, but it also speaks to the ingathering of community, bringing people together on the holiday of Sukkot to share meals and times in the Sukkah. Zman Simchatenu, the time of our joy, initially spoke to the time of the food that people would be able to collect for the fall harvest, but it also speaks to our mood as we begin the year following Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. We're joyous to be able to celebrate together in the holiday of Sukkot following the times that we just experienced. And all of this, the idea that community comes together, the idea that we're happy in celebrating that community coming together, and the idea that this holiday allows us to return to our most basic roots is why we then call this holiday the holiday. So I wish you a very Chag Sameach, a very happy holiday, and I hope that you're able to connect with each aspect of this holiday, so that for you it will be Hechad, the holiday. Chag Sameach, Kudyatev.